Okay, crack platter. It's like a omoplata choke, omoplata crucifix. Yeah, for me, this is one of the most beautiful submissions in Jiu Jitsu. It's a very cool technique. I want to share it. Then, Crack Race has a lot of ways to set up omoplata from open guard, lasso, spider. Today, I want to show the way to set up from close guard with action and reaction. Get a close guard like this. So, most important thing is posture control. Then, Crack Race does that for sure. Then, with the car grip he likes to do, it's like a hold it here. Then sometimes he sets up omoplata straight away. If he can break the posture straight like this, then he comes omoplata like this. But most of the time, opponent's arm should be on the body or inside the frame. Clark Grace is a very unique way to create the arm with action reaction. Color grip as usual like this. Then, Sleeve grip, just simply grab here. Then what he did is like a push the sleeve like this, as if I push it towards his belly like this. This is like a similar triangle setup. Then if he's uncomfortable for sure, in order for L to escape from this position, he's going to create his arm. Look, he wants to replace his hand. So this is the reaction Clark Gracie wanted to take it. So as soon as it happened, Clark Gracie pushed the hand to this direction, look. So he called in a situation to set up on parallel. Arm is outside the hips, upper body control. So it's gonna be pretty easy to set up on platter. So bring the head down or keep the head at the same level. Then leg comes behind the scapular around here. Then I've taken his private lesson once, like years ago. Then I got his on platter. Then what I realized was the, so much pressure on the scapular at this position. Probably this is the secret of his omoplata. Then it's gonna be important to control the upper body. Generally speaking, it's not difficult to set up omoplata, but hard to finish it. So it's gonna be hard time from now. So once it sets up, keep on controlling the head, shoulder pressure, then push it away like this. So after I go like that, it's gonna be way easier to pass leg in front of L's face like this. Even now, Crack Gracie keeps the car grip. This is going to be very important, like this. As long as it's holding like this, opponent cannot push up to escape it. Can you push up? Look, like this. Okay, well, I show you one more time. Start with the car grip, to bring his head down. Then I grab the sleeve, push to the minus direction first, like this. As soon as it reacts, push it away like this. There's another detail. In order to set up on Prada, his elbow needs to be open and bend it. So two things need to be coordinated. So in terms of doing it, I push as list. That's gonna be right next to my hip bone here. Then I set up the situation. From now, I use my knee to open it like this. Okay, I want you to make sure that you completely break opponent's posture down when the time passes like, not going like this. This is still active for him. That's why I like, use the knee to squeeze it down like this. It's like a huge amount of pressure on his shoulder to bring his head down, plus car grip to control his upper body. Then I come to this side. Even this time, it's very important to push the sleeve to keep the coordination on the elbow. And then from now, I just simply pull the leg. This is the entry. Okay, for now, let's just do the most important part in this technique. There's gonna be a lot of reaction from opponent, like portion up, like I said in the last one. Against this, that's okay, I will completely clear out with the color grip. He may want to pull his arm out. That is okay too. Look, I push his elbow, like push his sleeve. Like keep the shape, I keep it. Another one, he wants to use his legs to make some axis like this. Yeah, this happens as well. This is one of the things Clark Gracie wanted to take it off. That's why if it happens, what he likes is like a switch in the hand. So here, it's like using a torso to trap his hand. Then just coordinate here, just hold it to take it off. Or sometimes he grabs the pants at this spot before the opponent puts the knee on the mat. It seems like Clark Gracie has not set a position like this, like use his torso to trap opponent's wrist. Plus hold it here. Seems like this is really important details. Once it's happened like this, opponent cannot put his knee on the mat. 
way harder. Then there's a less pressure from opponent. Easy to step the next action. Then from now, I'm gonna come up to set up all platter properly. Then once it happens, it's not necessary to grab the color. It's about to take top. So he wants to use the right hand in other way. Like release the color grip to post him on the mat like this. And then he's gonna come up as if he does doing like a Turkish get up. Then this is gonna be very important to stop the rotation. When an opponent cannot put the shield on my belly, what L wants to do is like a rolling forward to escape. This is really common. You can just roll forward like this. This is very common escape. So crack race against this movement, he wants to block you with his hand. So when the time come up, what he likes is like a literally attack, get up, place the hand around here, then come up. Even this is like a looking like underhook action, like this. As I do so, Ed can not roll forward. Look, even if he tries, he gets completely locked. Then, all proud position set up. Then it's gonna be the coolest part in this technique. I'm going to set up all proud crucifix. Here's a lot of options, but today I just wanna make it super simple. So from now, I wanna come up to raise my hips up. Once I raise my hips up, I'm going to rely on the far side of the shoulder as if I finish it on my platter. But most of the time, Ed wants to escape or defend. That's why he tries to come up with something. So once it happens, I'm going to dive it to the side as if I'm flipping him. Like this, I come to the side. Look, he's going to fall on the mat like this. Then I end up in this position. Then from now, there's been a couple more details. Although I flip his body like this, he is still active. As you can see, he uses his feet on the mat. Then he's going to drive his leg on me like this. Look, this is a situation. I want to take hold his mobility. So what I like is make a hook behind his knee on this side. If this is close to me, I can simply make a butterfly hook behind his knee like this. But sometimes it may be a little away. So in this case, I cannot reach it. So in that case, Clark Gracie likes to do like a bicycle kick to look for a space like this. It doesn't even need to be look out to do that. Just like a swing leg. Then automatically hook comes to the right place, like this. Then once it's lifted up like this, or poorly, and has no mobility. Can you try that? Look, he cannot even come up anymore. So this is the coordination. Okay, from this solution, I wanna set up the choke. This is the last part of this technique. I simply place my arm on this side, and then I pass the color. It may be a little difficult to reach it, so in that case, you just want to extend the arm straight, then you reach it here. You can even pull a point with this hook. It's gonna be way easier to reach it. Once it's reached, switch the hand around here. Then push the pull, pull the collar, push his neck, and then you finish. Or put out a choke. But sometimes he tries to roll pull, even though that is no proper way to do it. If it happens, I want to chase him. It's pretty simple. I grab on the far side of his hips, or material, I slightly come up. Then when he rolls forward, I look at this side. Then I should be able to go with him, can roll forward, look. Like this, somehow, I will get connected with him. Then I should detail to take off his mobility. So near side leg, to hook it like this. Then if it's possible, it's good to lift it up. That's gonna be way harder for Ed to escape. As an option, Clark Lacey likes to do pretzel platter in nogi. That's going to be making a fast side hook to like complete like a twist in his body. Maybe I want to show you in the other video, this one. Today, I just want to show you the Clark Lacey choke, this. Then a choke, in order to do, I got to place my hand on this side. So I push away to adjust the angle. Then I put my hand first. Then I reach it. It doesn't even need to be the proper car choke, car grip. I just wanna simply grab the car on the far side. Once I grab it, I just lean back to push his neck. Then, apply the pressure. Hey guys, my name is Daniel. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please push the like button and leave us a comment down below. 
you want to learn more techniques, simply hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when we upload a new video. This way we can bring you new and improved content. Thank you and see you next time.